Two people have died in Texas in the largest fire in the US state's history. Temperatures are expected to increase over the weekend as firefighters battle more than 100 wildfires. CNN's Gloria Pasmino has more. And containment efforts are continuing here in the area. So far, the Smokehouse Creek fire, one of the biggest that's been burning since Monday afternoon, has been contained by about 15%. But windy conditions as well as the dry terrain might complicate things going into the weekend where the fire risk is expected to remain high. We got a lot of houses to protect there and not many trucks. The fight to get raging wildfires under control in the Texas panhandle continues as the death toll rises. The Smokehouse Creek fire claiming the life of 44-year-old Cindy Owen. Family members say the truck driver was working when flames swept through the area. Owen was unable to escape. She's the second known wildfire victim. 83-year-old Joyce Blankenship also died during the blaze earlier this week, according to her family. The Smokehouse Creek fire is the largest of the four wildfires tearing across the region and spilling into Oklahoma. Officials say the rough terrain is making it difficult for firefighters to stop the flames. Strong winds and brittle vegetation are expected to continue feeding the fires. On Thursday, President Joe Biden committing federal help to people impacted. So we're standing with everyone, everyone affected by these wildfires. They're going to continue to help you respond and recover. In the meantime, local groups like the Austin Disaster Relief Network are working to get much needed supplies to people who've lost their homes. For homes that have been destroyed, we have buckets that we're ready, have prepared and positioned to, to, to make available. More than a million acres have been burned so far. Hundreds of homes have been lost and a local industry has also been devastated. In the meantime, Texas Governor Greg Abbott is expected to travel into the area later today to provide an update on how the state government is responding.